Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over reflections. First by looking at some simple reflections over the x-axis, y-axis, and over the line y equals x. Then we're going to look at a harder example when reflecting a shape onto itself. So all reflections are exactly what they sound like. When a point, line, segment, or shape is reflected, it creates a mirror image of itself. So I like, always like to think of a butterfly or a page being folded in half where there is perfect symmetry, and we'll see what that looks like. So for our first example, we're going to reflect point A over the line over this x-axis. So, so we have point A, and notice, so this is the x-axis, this horizontal line here. So notice this two units away from the x-axis. So what we're going to want to do is just have this, our new point A, two units, also two units away from the x-axis. And we'll just call this A prime for our new reflected point. So notice that we folded this graph in half, this is a mirror image of itself, right? Like it falls exactly where the other point is. They match up if we were to fold it in half. So now let's look at our next example. We want to reflect a triangle this time. We have triangle ABC and we want to reflect it over the Y axis. So, so the Y axis is this one here, the vertical line labeled Y. So we have a couple more points this time. So we're just going to go one by one reflecting each point. So if you look at point A, notice that it's one unit distance away from the Y axis. And now to reflect our point A, we're just going to go one unit to the other side and label it A prime. Notice point B, very similar, also one unit away. So we're just going to label this B prime. And then C is four units away, one, two, three, four. So we're just going to count four units to the left. One, two, three, four, and then label this C prime. So something interesting about reflections is that they retain something called rigid motion. So all that means is that all the line segments after our shape is reflected remain the same. So notice how line segment AB is three units and then we reflected it and we have A prime, B prime. This line segment is also three units. So that just means all the line segments are going to be the same once we reflect this shape. All the line segments and all the angles. So next we have a reflection over the line y equals x. So just a reminder of what the line equals x looks like is just this diagonal line. So, so this just has like a slope of one, so we're just going up one over one from zero. So it's not the most perfect, but it really should be on like every diagonal like this. So we're gonna do the same thing here, just counting the, the point, the unit distance away from this line. So notice point A is kind of like a unit and a half away from the line y equals x. So we're just going to go on the other side. So we have this little half and then a unit. And then this is our new a prime. And now for b, let's see how far this is from the line y equals x. So point b looks like it's three units away. So we're just going to go one, two, three. And, and now we can connect a prime, b prime, our new reflected line segment. So these are just kind of the, uh, the simpler, the basic reflection rules over the x-axis, the y-axis, and over the line y equals x. So if you want to review those, just take a look at the summary right here for anything you want to go over again. And now we have a harder question. We're going to be reflecting triangle ABC over the line x equals negative 2 to create triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So the reason this is a little more complicated is because we end up like kind of overlapping our shape. So it's kind of like the shape is kind of on itself. So first let's just draw out, to answer this question first, let's draw out what x equals negative 2 looks like. So here's negative 2 and it ends up being this vertical line. So x equals negative 2. And then now we're doing the same thing, just the shape is on itself. So it might look more confusing, but it's really the same thing. So if we start up with point C, notice that it's one unit away from our line x equals negative 2. So we're just going to go one unit to the left on the other side of x equals negative 2 and make our new C prime point. And notice B is also one unit away from x equals negative 2. So we're just going to go on the other side and put B prime. 
one unit away. And lastly, we have this point A here. Um, notice it's two units from x equals negative two. So we're just gonna go two units to the right on the other side here and put A prime. And now we just connect all our dots. And we have our new triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So in summary, just to summarize everything we just went over, when reflecting shapes, make sure to keep track of the unit distance between given points in the reflection line. And remember that reflections always retain rigid motion, doesn't matter if you're reflecting a shape or a line segment, whatever you're reflecting, it has rigid motion. So these are just a few examples on reflections. For more, check out the practice questions posted on massdocs.org. The link is in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy Calculate! Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!